but yeah. we, we should go yeah. as backup with some anti-war t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> I, you know what, honestly, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, um, I don't care to mix my politics with my socializing when I go out and socialize and stuff like that. And I really do like my thought here is a, a little bit of discretion would have gone a long way. In this particular, you know, just because if you know you're in an environment where people are like massively diametrically opposed to your politics, then there's a at the very least be tactful in approaching those subjects. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you go, if you want, I, I I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna, I'm not taking my activism out to to one of the two clubs in in <laughs> Manchester to 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 to, to scream politics at them. No, um, no. I don't I mean, think I don't think that's that productive, honestly. I I can't say because I wasn't there whether mm -hmm. or not Andre was was combative. Um, I, I don't think he's necessarily combative. I I I mean, I what happened what is, un, is is completely re absurd. With what happened to him is absurd and of course, un, and yeah, un, un, it, inappropriate and inappropriate. I mean, but but I'm just saying that that um uh I I think that I I think that there's a there's sort of a time and place for things. And and when everyone around you is is screaming, <laughs> Obama, Obama, and you pick that time to well, I don't know. I, I guess there's never really a there's never a bad time, I guess, to be anti-war. But there's there's never a bad time to to subtly introduce people to the ideas of liberty and at yeah. least give some criticism for their. Uh, this is hysteria, you know. When you're chanting Obama, Obama, I mean, it chanting is. anyone's is, name. Yeah is uh, a little bit hysterical and in, and in, well that just my creeps mind. me out because Save for ron paul i i'll give well, an exception to ron paul no you're just as bad nah, about ron nah. paul as he as, as those guys are about obama <laughs> 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 um the uh but yeah that's just it. any anytime enchanting of a politician's name is just creepy to me no yeah. they they i don't i tend to be so, sort of He's not a big fan of any politicians for the most part. Obama's no longer a politician. Obama's a tyrant. Oh, once you receive the, the title of, of president, once you have the yeah. entire military under your command and you're uh, uh, telling them, okay, drone strike 15 people in Pakistan and just wipe them off the map without ever declaring war, going through any of the, the legal It's the nature of the beast. It's important I mean, to point out that what you're, what you're talking about is true of anyone that takes that office. It's yeah, not specific exactly, to Obama. Exactly. It's just the nature of the beast. No, you're not a politician because that, that kind of uh, signifies, oh, you're just advocating policy decisions and stuff. No, you're at the reins. You have control and you're actively well, killing people around the world. He's still a politician. He's still a politician. I mean, you're saying, no, he's not a politician. He's a, a poli tyrant. He's a pol both. A politician's a dirty <laughs> word, so throw as many dirty words as you can. At, okay. At, he's at, both. At he's, he's, yeah. Yeah, you're, I agree. I think, I think as, soon as, you, as soon as you take on that mantle of president, you're a tyrant. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't matter who do, it doesn't matter who's in no, there. No, no. And in fact, no. I, uh, that's why I'm incredible. I, 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 I think that people, like the Ron Paul hysteria, uh, the, the, there's a lot of incredible exuberance about Ron Paul and how he's going to fix everything, uh, or and and I'm incredibly I've always been incredibly skeptical of that. Not just of him not having a chance of winning the primary. I I think you know his odds of actually winning the primary at this stage. It's 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 not necessarily impossible, but it it, uh, it pretty much may as well be. It may as well be. And but that's not even the point. The point is even if he won it and then and then actually got into the the race for president. And, and even if he won the presidential race, I don't think that mm -hmm. it would be this miracle that everyone acts like it would be. I think that his power, I think his, his power is limited in the, in, in terms of actually doing things that limit and, and reducing government damage. He could, he could pardon <laughs> all nonviolent drug offenders, uh, incarcerated in federal prisons. And they do can you walk think free he would do that? And do you think yes. he would get away with it? And with, a, you don't think there would be, do you you do you do? Oh, the, yeah, yeah. No, I I have no doubt as to his principles, and he, he said repeatedly, you know, um, within his first hour of becoming president, he would sign executive order after executive order after executive order, undoing all the things that previous presidents have done. Then take a break for lunch and continue. Um, <laughs> I, that sounds like what a lot of politicians promise when they're going into. A, into an office, and then they, as soon as they're in there, they start getting you, you, they're under the imp influence of so many forces. You you smear him with the label of politician, and he's just a see, guy see, who's all right. 
uh, Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. You sound just like the Obama people, Neil. No, I'm chanting. I, I'm chanting a guy who has principles and doesn't want to. He wants to eliminate harm against other people. <sighs> and the people chanting Obama are chanting for a murderer and a dictator. I, I just, I, 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 you, you, you talk about Ron Paul like he's he is above all that, and I don't, I don't think he is. I mean, he's, he's, he's. he's in the realm of politicians, he seems not as evil. They're not as bad. Tell me, uh, okay, tell me what evil he has. He made, uh, he made these ads when he was running the first, the first time that showed Mexicans like swimming and climbing fences, and talked about how we needed to crack down and on the borders. And it was, it was an incredibly offensive ad that that uh, that I found appalling about treating people who weren't born in this country. As if they were these horrible people coming to do something awful by crossing a border that I don't believe exists. Well, I mean, I know it exists that, in people's minds. Yeah, but that's just him doing what he needs to do so okay, that he can okay. have so that he can have the power to not do that. Yeah, you are well, so deluded, Neil. <laughs> he is being a politician just like all the others. He is still under those – he still has to play those rules, and it's the rules of the game that make it so corrupt. And he is – he's not a, hes not the savior of the world. He's not Jesus Christ. But you act – you talk about him like he no, is. You, you talk about him with a reverence you see, that is creepy. You see, when Joseph Smith – the the founder of Mormonism, you know, uh, spoke right things that we can all agree about. You know, he was speaking as a prophet when he had multiple wives and when he was spouting uh, crazy things like Mormons living on the moon. He was just speaking as a man. So when Ron Paul does something I disagree with, he's speaking as a politician. But <laughs> apart from that, he's he's savior of all mankind. OK, Neil. I'm amused. I'm amused. 603 499 PORC. You can also Skype us at In Your Head Shows. Neil's a kook. We'll be right back. This is Flaming Freedom.